Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by on my channel. In this video, we're going to check out a very cute little USB microphone by a company called Yemi. I've never heard of this company before until they reached out to me. They did send me this microphone free of charge. It's a cute little thing. It's like $69.99 on Amazon right now, but they have a coupon sale going on right now for 20% off. So if you were to buy this, you'd get an additional 20% off. It's one of those, you have to check the boxes though to get <laughs> your coupon so make sure you don't forget to do that. I guess this is one of those little microphones they made to sort of compete with the Blue Yeti Nano. Through the initial testing that I've done, I like it. It has four different polar patterns. The polar pattern that I'm in right now is cardioid. And of course, as always, any audio that you're going to be listening to in this video is captured by the Yemi in its raw form. Let me be quiet right off the bat so that we can do a self noise test. Now let me explain about the audio. You do need bus power to get this microphone to work. So it's plugged into the iPad, but the way that I'm getting the audio into the camera is from the headphone jack. I'm just taking a cable and putting that directly into camera because I'm lazy like that. Let's talk about everything that comes in your package. You get the microphone, you get the microphone stand, you get the USB-C to USB cable, and you get a manual. Normally when I review a microphone, I like to have it within six inches of my mouth because with a condenser microphone, that's the best way that you should have it set up. However, they only sent a desktop stand. So whenever they provide a stand with the microphone, that's the stand that I use during the review so that, you know, probably at home, if you're just buying this as a quick little microphone, you're probably not going to have a scissor arm to set it up. And I want you to know to expect what the audio is gonna sound like if you don't have it on that scissor stand. And the build quality is probably everything that you would expect from an inexpensive microphone. The whole thing is plastic with the exception of the grill. It's a metal mesh grill. What I'm going to do now is click through the different polar patterns. I'm gonna click it over. And this is the omnipolar pattern. In the omnipolar pattern, you're going to get audio from 360 degrees around the microphone. Not a great setup because, especially if you're using it by yourself, my voice is going to be bouncing off things and then going back into the microphone, not great. Now I've switched over into the figure eight polar pattern. And what that's going to do is collect audio from the very front of the microphone and the very rear of the microphone. So let's say you're doing an interview with somebody, you would just put the microphone down in the middle of the table and it would be able to capture both you and your guest voice. And the final polar pattern is in stereo. So I think the stereo and the cardioid polar pattern are really the best. The other two I would stay away from unless you're using them for an interview. I am going to click back to the cardioid polar pattern, but I want you to notice the handling noise when I'm touching the knobs. It does take a knob to click it over. And as you can see, there is a little bit of handling noise whenever you're touching the microphone. The dial that you use to click through the different polar patterns, that's a mute button. So if you press that button, it's going to mute the entire microphone. And I'll just hit it once just so that you can see it's a little bit of an audible click, which I don't think is a big deal. And directly below that is another knob. Now there's two different functions to this bottom knob. One is the volume control and one is the gain control. When you're in volume control, the light around the knob is going to be blue. If you press it, that light is going to turn green and then you can control the gain of the microphone. So remember blue for volume and green for gain. I am gonna click through some different gain settings so that you can hear, you know, there's a little bit of some noise when you're touching the gain knob. In case you're using this in a live situation, I want you to understand what every little thing that you're doing to the microphone is going to sound like. When you are adjusting the gain of the microphone, the light around the knob is going to match your level. So let's say you wanted to check where your gain was, you would just have to hit the microphone and notice, or the bottom knob, and see where you are with your gain. Or of course, there is a headphone jack so you can listen with your headphones as well, but I'm using the headphone jack to go into camera. With so many different microphone reviews that I've done on this channel, you guys know the right distance for the microphone to be away from your mouth is six inches. And this is six inches. So let me go ahead. I'm holding it in an off access position because this doesn't come with a pop filter. So you don't want to, you know, let me do a plosive test with it directly in front of my face. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peanuts. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peanuts. And I'll repeat that test six inches away in an off access position. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peanuts. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled 
peanuts. But I'm sure you can hear that the closer the microphone is to your mouth, the better it's going to sound. Just having it closer is better, but they don't give you a scissor stand or a scissor arm. So this is, you know, desk mount it is. I have to say it's a cute little microphone and I like the fact that they do have the little lights around the ring. It just, it makes it even cuter. Functionality wise, I do appreciate the fact that they do have four different polar patterns, although I would only ever use the cardioid or the stereo, unless of course you're doing an interview, then you could get away with the, uh, the figure eight polar pattern. With my initial testing of the microphone though, I did like the presence this microphone has. Some microphones, you know, they're very flat, which is okay if you're going to, you know, EQ it and post and give a little boost and pull, you like, if you're gonna EQ it, but in a live situation where you want the microphone to just sound naturally good, I think this microphone is a really good option. I think it has a punchy presence. It has good clarity. It's just a good blend of, lows and highs. If your kid is looking for a microphone for school or if you're just needing a microphone to do some presentations on the computer for work, I think this is a really great option. It's a small enough package where it's not, you know, cumbersome that you have to store it somewhere and you have to figure out how to get it to work. It's plug and play, very easy. As soon as I plugged it into my iPad, it immediately recognized it. It's a good looking microphone. There's just a few components so that you can easily pack it away and store it. This is the box that it came in. It's like five inches square, so you could easily put it back into the box and leave it in one of your desk drawers. So overall, I am going to give this microphone a thumbs up. It's everything that you need, and it, it does have a really good raw sound, and I appreciate that. Well, that's gonna do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, wear your sunblock. Even though it's getting cold, you still need to wear your sunblock.